When it comes to window managers, I've pretty much used all the main ones. Like I've used Xmonad, I've used Qtile, I've used DWM, I've used Trip Slough WM, I've used Awesome, I've used Qtile. I'm I've used i3 obviously. I've used you name it. I've pretty much used all the main ones. I've used BSPWM. You get the idea, right? I could sit here all day and list all the window managers that I've ever tried. And while I've never spent a lot of time in some of them, like I've never spent a ton of time in Xmonad. Mostly I've spent like a week there and learned that I really hate a Haskell and decided to move on. I haven't spent a lot of time in Herpslough WM because it's just not my type of thing. The point is, is that I've used a lot of window managers. I've lived in some of them and... Over the course of the last two or three years since I've started using tiling window managers, I've moved between favorites. So as is typical of me, I find something that I really like. I like it for a little while. I get the itch to try something new. I move on to something new. I either like it and use it for a while, or I don't like it and I go back to the other thing. Very flaky when it comes to the things that I use. I understand that. But the one constant over the last two or three years, however long it's been since I started using Tiling Window Managers, the one constant has been i3 Window Manager. Now, i3 Window Manager has a reputation of being for new users only. Like, if you use i3, you kind of have a reputation for, or you kind of, you're kind of sullied with the idea that you are a noob, or you don't know much about Linux, or you don't know much about Tiling Window Managers, you're only using i3 because it's easy to use, you know? That's kind of the reputation that it has. It's because it's easy to use for new users, therefore everyone who uses it must be a new user. And it's not true. Like, it's not true at all. I know a lot of people who are much more knowledgeable about Linux than I ever will be that use i3 as their default window manager. It's just honestly the truth. You don't have to be a new user to use i3. It doesn't mean you can't be a new user. You, i3 is very welcoming to new users. It has fantastic documentation. I mean, like, top-notch documentation is, like, so good. The only other window manager that I've ever found that has documentation that is as good or better than i3, that is Qtile. That, Qtile is, like, the only one that has as good a documentation as i3 does. And it's close. Like, they're top tier, both of them. So as I said, i3 has been a constant for me over the last two or three years. It's been the window manager that I constantly return to. The only other window manager that I've used as much as i3, it has been DWM. Like, DWM has been one that I've kind of always had in the periphery. But DWM is also kind of a pain in the butt because you always have to patch it all the time in order to get it to work properly. And there are some features that I just can't get into or can't get it to work or something like that. So DWM, there's always just that one or two things that just don't really work for me. i3, while it's not perfect, is, or at least has been, the best for my workflow overall for the last two or three years. And that's the reason why I keep coming back to it. It has almost every feature that I could possibly want. Two of the best ones, obviously, are Scratchpad integration. It's not the best Scratchpad integration. DWMs is better. But at least it's there, and if you set it up properly, it's not bad at all. And the other feature is the ability to have key bindings for every workspace that you create. So if you are like me and you use a ton of workspaces, you can then create a key binding for every single one of them, and that is just fantastic. It's the best thing ever, as far as I'm concerned. So those two things alone mean that i3 kind of keeps drawing me back because there aren't a ton of window managers out there that allow you to do both of those things right out of the box. Usually you can hack up a solution in order to actually get those things there, but they're not easy to set up just like you would be able to do on i3. Outside of those two things, I find i3 almost infinitely customizable because really when it comes to customizing a window manager, at least when it comes to look and feel, what are you actually asking to customize? For the most part, you're looking at borders and bar, right? Those are the things that you can re really want to customize. If you want to customize the transparency of a window or add rounded corners or something like that, you're looking at adding something like PyCom, and that's kind of extraneous to what you're customizing. And you can obviously do that on i3 or any window manager, right? 
with i3, because those are the two things that you really want to customize, there's not much that's limiting you in terms of customization. You can customize the color of the borders. You can use whatever damn bar you want to. It does come with a bar, and you can add things to that bar, like i3 blocks. If you wanted to add to the actual stock i3 bar, you can do that. Or you can use something like Polybar, or you could use EWW, or you could use Tint2, or you could use XMOBAR. Whatever you want to use, you can use it. And while a lot of people will say, well, yeah, it comes with a bar, it's bloat. I don't buy that for a second. I mean, you could theoretically pull i3 bar out of i3 if you wanted to because it's taking up two and a half kilobytes of space on your hard drive or something. I don't know. You could do that, but I mean, that never really has bothered me. So it's not really, I mean, seriously, people who say that's bloat, simultaneously will use Emacs or something and you know so or or they'll uh, that was a that, that was unfair of me I shouldn't I shouldn't have said Emacs I should have said something like some other program that people call bloat or something I don't know <laughs> I don't know I, I went totally blank there on what people think bloat is nowadays because everybody says everything is bloat and I can't I can't keep track of it anyways move, moving on so the point is is that i3 is my absolute favorite window manager and I I've waffled on this over the late years. Like I, at one point, if you'd asked me, I would have said DWM. At one point, I probably would have said BSPWM because I used BSPWM for quite a while, and I still like BSPWM. But the problem with BSPWM is that the main feature of BSPWM is pre-selection. It's a manual tiler, but it doesn't really act like a manual tiler unless you use pre-selection. And I never used pre-selection, so I wasn't actually using the Premier feature. That kind of made me stop using using BSPWM because I just used it as a dynamic tiler, which is not really what it is. So as of right now, like I said, i3 is my favorite. And I think that it's a combination of, like I said, customization, the features that I want, the great documentation, the great community. Because if you need help, you can find pretty much anyone who uses this. They'll help you. I've never heard one. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, is like I've been using i3 now for... Uh, off and on for like two or three years and I've had questions like I've got onto reddit and asked questions in the subreddit I've got on to discord and asked people who use i3 and not once not a single time have I ever said someone had somebody tell me go read the effing manual not a single time I have had people like giving me a link to the manual like a certain part of the manual they'll send me a link but I've never had anyone say that like even the developer of i3 is on reddit all the time helping people it's amazing it's really good and that's not to say that other projects don't have interactive developers as well like people who help out in those projects are probably just as helpful as i3 but from my experience i3 has the most friendly community out there and i think that that's fantastic and on top of that is that there are a ton of people out there who use i3 so you're going to find a lot of tools that allow you to enhance i3. So things like auto tiling, which basically turn i3 into a dynamic tiler if you want it to be that way. You can find scripts that give you the master stack layout if you want. You can find scripts that do a better job of using scratch pads if you want. There's a ton of examples out there where people have taken some of the functionality that is built into i3 and then extended it through either a script or something like that just gives i3 just a little bit more functionality so that is why i3 is my favorite window manager and it's definitely the one that i keep coming back to so i installed dwm the other day and i used it for a little while i went through and did all the work of patching it getting it themed and everything and then i almost immediately ran back to i3 that's what i seem to end up doing and i'm okay with that so in the comment section below i would love to hear what your favorite window manager is do you use a tiling window manager do you use a floating window manager are you a desktop environment user and wonder what the hell is the big deal about a tiling window manager leave those comments in the comments section below i'd love to hear from you if you want to follow me on twitter you can do so at linuxcast you can follow me on mastodon or any of my other social media networks you can find those links in the video description you can support me on patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast just like all of these fine people i truly do appreciate everybody who supports me on patreon and youtube i can't even begin to find the words to express my full gratitude over everyone who just supports me in this way it, it just constantly blows my mind i know like every video i'm like man i just don't know the words to say how grateful i am but that's because the best words are Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. I'll see you next time.